Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, create your own plausible server. So first, let me begin with introducing to the plausible. Plausible Analytics uh, is lightweight and open source web analytics. You don't need any cookies and is uh, fully compliant with GDPR, CCPA and PECR. Everything is made in the Europe Union and it is uh, hosted on the EU servers if you sign up for the cloud service. As you can see on the website, comparing to the Google Analytics script, Plausible is only one kilobyte and less. So it's gonna be pretty fast. And you will get all of all the stats you need to know in your Plausible dashboard. So in order to prepare you for the self-hosted version of Plausible, I need to mention that uh, if you really like Plausible and will use Plausible in the future, the best way how we can support this project is sign up for the cloud services. As you can see, the pricing is only nine euros a month. You, you will get a monthly 10K visits. And if you go for a yearly billing, you will save two months. And also the good way how to sponsor this project, if you don't wanna use their cloud services, is to use uh, GitHub sponsorship. Here you can select if you wanna if you want to sponsor them on a monthly basis or, or a one-time basis. I also prepared the written guide for the plausible. As you can see, it is pretty comprehensive and it should really get you started. And there are some prerequisites that you're going to need to have your plausible server installed successfully and use it in the production environment. So the first thing that uh, we will gonna need is gonna be our server. For the server, I've chose the Hetzner because Hetzner has the best servers in the European Union, and they are GDPR protected by DPA, that is Data Protection Agreement. You will get your Data Protection Agreement in your account, where you will sign up the agreement and you will have it. And also, when we check the prices. It is pretty pretty cheap and uh, for uh, 5 euro a month you will get 2 AMD CPU, 2 gig RAMs and a lot of disk space and uh, 20 terabytes traffic. And also I included link in the description below where you can get 20 euro to your cloud account. Another thing that we will need is our SMTP service because we want to have our emails to be delivered to our email address. So for this tutorial, I'm using Postmark and you can use any other SMTP service like uh, SendGrid, Amazon SCS or other that you are using. But Plausible is, I think it is the best in the SMTP service provider. Also to edit the config file, I'm highly recommend using uh, Termius Terminal Manager. It is, uh, it is paid, but uh, for the features that you will get, it's really worth it. You will, get uh, you will get access to the cloud snippets where you can save your snippets that you are using on a daily, day to day basis. You will add your servers that you manage and it's gonna manage also SFTP connections and all of your SSH key. And another thing that uh, you will need is your domain in the Cloudflare because we're gonna use a Cloudflare tunnel for this tutorial. So first we're going to create our server. We're gonna add our server. We're gonna choose data center. For image we will need Debian 11 and I like Debian 11 because it's pretty lightweight and uh, it's pretty secured out of the box. For server type, CPX11 is pretty good. For, I think you can get 15 websites with medium traffic on 2 GB of RAM. Next thing, we're gonna need to disable IPv6 because we're not going to use IPv6. For SSH key, 
I currently don't have in this project but if you have SSH key you can add your SSH key here and continue firewall we will set up firewall later you want to enable backups and uh, you want to name your server but you you can choose whatever you want so we can create and buy our server now when we have our server we need to create firewall in the menu you go to firewall and you're gonna create new firewall for the first rule we're gonna do only one rule and it's gonna be SSH and other rule we can disable and here if you don't have dedicated IP address you're gonna need only any IP before that can connect to your SSH but if you have dedicated IP you just type your dedicated IP right here and you want to apply this rule to the server I'm gonna select plausible and apply and you can name this rule plausible as well let's create our firewall and now we need to copy this IP and we need to add it to our terminal manager let me open the terminal perfect you want to add a new host you want to type your address you want to name it plausible username will be root and password you receive password in the email when you sign uh, if you don't have ssh key you will receive your password to the email address so we need to copy that from your email so now you when you copy your password from the email you can log in to your server at first you will need to enter your password that you copied again and you're gonna need to select new password you just add a new password and confirm the password and from the initial server setup we're gonna add our local user we're gonna add our local user to the sudo group and we're gonna install all necessary packages I'm not going to show you in this video how we can do it but as we can check our guide that I created for you in the system preparation you will see all of the commands I use to prepare your server for plausible how we can add your user how to add your user to the sudo group how you can install firewall docker and all other things so please refer to this guide once we are done with this we will continue in our terminal so now we have our server prepared we have our user firewall and all our services that we're going to use cloudflare service and a docker service so now we need to clone repository from the github so first we need to install git package by sudo apt install git slash yes you're gonna enter your sudo password it can take a little bit and now we want to copy the repo url from the documentation and you just go git clone plausible git and now when you see we have our folder plausible you want to see the inside the plausible and here you can see we have our uh, click house xml config files and our docker compose file and our docker compose file is the most important thing that we need to edit and take really good attention when editing the compose file but before we're gonna do our configuration we need to generate our secret key command you will find in the documentation you just paste this key and you copy this in your clipboard and save it somewhere for later so let us configure our docker compose file to do this you need to type nano docker compose.yaml and as you can see it is pretty big file and the most important thing that you need to be aware of when you see everything inside of the square brackets that means you need to add your own API keys and your own of credentials 
so you need to delete everything and also with the curly brackets as well so let me add our secret key as you can see we have our line secret key base you delete everything and you paste your secret key right there do i have it in my clipboard hold on let me navigate back and paste okay we have our secret key and all of the things that you're going to need will be your admin email address your smtp api credentials and also if you want to add your google api keys you need to visit this guy to get your api key so just for demonstration we're gonna add our admin user it's gonna be plausible at webnestify.uk we want to add your name plausible admin and you want to add your strong and complicated password and when you follow line by line you will need to edit those square bracket values and i think that's pretty it and we will be back when i finish configuring this compose file now we have edited our compose file and in order to run the services you need to type docker ps uh, sorry docker compose up slash d and it will pull all the images so when everything is ready we will gonna be back as you can see everything is ready and started when you type command docker ps you can see that all of the containers are running so next step what we need to do is to add our cloudflare tunnel to communicate with our server so we, we will go to our cloudflare dashboard and on the left side you will see cloudflare access And you will need to open your zero trust account and also if you don't have your zero trust account it will show you that you will need to select your subscription it is for free for up to 50 users but don't get confused it's not for the 50 users on your possible server but for the 50 users on your cloudflare account so when you, you when you have your dashboard ready you need to go to the access and tunnels and you will need to create your first tunnel we're gonna name it plausible i'm gonna save the tunnel for the environment we have our debian 11 and here you need to copy this right box because we already have coffer service installed so we're gonna move back to our terminal and we're gonna paste the provided command as you can see the linux service for covert installed successfully when we go back to our browser we should have our connector id inside of cloudflare and we can proceed we go next for the subdomain you're gonna add your subdomain that you edit in the config file you're gonna be webnestify.uk type you select http and localhost it was 8000 and you click save and now when you have edited everything we can visit our plausible dashboard let me enter the url it's gonna be plausible at webnestify.uk you're gonna add your email address you specify in the config and you're gonna add your password and as you can see the setup is pretty straightforward you will add your website and 
you can add users and that's it so if you really like this tutorial and also if you're gonna enjoy plausible i highly recommend to sign up for the cloud services because in this way you support the project in the long run and also you can become the github sponsor and if you run into any issues my company have service where we can help you with your docker instances we can secure your server your docker daemon and also we can help you to deploy your applications that you want to use in your business and also feel free to comment this video share and subscribe to my channel so we get notified when i release new videos and if you have any issues leave comments down below so take care and see you in the next video